Hey guys, I'm here today to do my project pan update. So I've got all my stuff here. Um, I have weights that I've been measuring. I actually bought a more accurate scale. <clears throat> so that is what I switched to for my measurements. So a lot of my items don't have a lot of use and then some of them are used up. So why don't we start with the used up items since they're probably the most exciting. So first is this little nubbin. Uh, this is my MAC Teddy eyeliner. Um, so the line at the top here is where it started. Um, the highlighted line is my first update. Here, I'm just gonna hold up this. So this is where it started. This is my first update. Um, this was last time, and then I really put a lot of use in it. I mean, I used almost twice, like I used almost the same amount as two in the last one. Um, I did uh, like this more sharp. Um, and then when it started to wear down, I would use a brush on it to get some product and then smudge things. But for applying it most days, I like it pretty sharp to stay closer to my eye line. So I did sharpen it quite a bit. Um, at one point it got stuck in the lid and the lid was cracked. So I just broke it and pushed it out and kept using it so it got stuck in the lid and I had to sharpen it a lot after that because a bunch of product broke off in like the process of getting it out of the lid so that's probably where a lot of my like extra progress is from and now it's stuck in there but you can kind of see how small it is so that's exciting um my next product That I used up <clears throat> is the Sublime Culture Lip Liner from MAC. They don't make these lip liners anymore. I don't know when they stopped making them, but you can see I'm twisting and nothing comes up. You can see the product in there, but there's nothing left. Um, so this is my line and usage is about the same as the last update. So here it is on the first update. Um, last update and this is the line I just drew so that's about where it is um, I mean it's used up but about the same amount of use as the last update and it's all gone I'm doing my lipstick a day challenge still so this was something that I would apply if my lipstick were off from drinking things then I would put this on with some of my lip gloss and that's how I was using it up pretty much. Um, the last update actually, I mentioned it would like, pieces would break off and I would use them on my lips cause they would break off like stuck on and it stopped doing that. Um, so it was all pure usage this month. Um, none of that like cheating business. <clears throat> this lip gloss I'm calling done as well. Um, you can't really see the line anymore, but it's right here, um, right about at the top of the bow on this other side. And I mean, I, the product is down here at the bottom and I've tried to get more out and just, it's goopy, nothing's come in. Um, it actually has like stuff from lipstick on the product. And it's older, so I'm just not going to do any more with it. I'm good with calling that one done. So that's three products so far. Um, and then I have my brow product. Um, let me just mark it on here. I did just have a fiasco with this. Um, <laughs> doing my, pro my brows today. A giant piece fell out and it was like I could see into the pencil so I was trying to sharpen it and I sharpened it down and then 
the piece sticking out had like a hole in the center. So I tried to like take that off and make it straight across and then resharpen it and it just won't sharpen anymore. It's too tiny. So a bunch of product just came out because of that. Probably like two lines worth on the <clears throat> paper. Um, and then of course the sharpening, maybe even three lines worth. So some of this is not real progress because the pencil broke itself. I didn't cheat and do anything to it. It fell out and then I was trying to sharpen it. So anyway, definitely a lot of progress. If we're going off of what I think probably the real progress is, I would say probably there. Um, I was using this a lot. I know in my last update, I said I just wanted to get down to the words. And once I hit the words, I was like, man, I'm stoked on this. I'm gonna just keep using it up. So I think hitting that mark just made me feel kind of accomplished, so I kept using it. Um, pretty proud of the usage on this, so that's a, another product we're calling Done. Um, so that's four, and I think that's all of my finished products. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have a product that I think I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is getting hard pan and this is what the lid looks like. So pieces are cracking out of the sides, it's cracked on the top, I'm just over it. Um, it's, I've got a good dip in it. I've used up, from the beginning, I've used about three grams of product and I can see the, the ring starting. I've definitely worn down the like pattern it comes with. <clears throat> So I'm okay with calling this done. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I wanna rebuy this just because of, it's it's not the best. It's just something that I had bought. Um, the previous powder that I had, I used up completely was a MAC, um, like a natural mineral skin finish. I don't know what they're called. And I'm thinking about possibly getting that again trying out other powders. If you have recommendations for powders to replace this, definitely let me know. Right now, I'm just not really using powder, um, and it's going okay so far, so I'm kind of okay with it, but we'll see. Um, next on my list is my NARS bronzer, and I've used 0.05 grams of this. Um, it kind of fell by the wayside. I was using other things. Um, I bought a this like quick trick stick thing from Mac that I really liked using and it's a like creamy bronzer so this kind of fell by the wayside oh that's why that kept breaking my pencil sharpener broke good thing I have a new one anyway so not a whole lot of use on this but that's okay um, my blush, a similar story. I actually did use this blush and it has no use either. I did buy a blush quick trick stick also, which I really like as well. But I was using this and it had no usage, so <laughs> bummer. Um, my highlight, I used 0.04 grams. These are very small numbers, people. Um, <clears throat> the quick trick stick has a highlight on it. I got a highlight in my Ipsy bag. I don't know what to say. Uh, my concealer, let's see. I used 0.1 grams. Um, I imagine there's not that much in here there's 0.23 fluid ounces 6.8 milliliters I don't know how much that's gonna end up being um, right now it's been on its side so you can't tell but usually there is like a lot of use that you can see in it but not today um, brow eyeliner used up oh finally we have something exciting I was pretty stoked on this. This happened yesterday. 
I hit pan, boom. This is my MAC paint pot in Bear Study. And there's a pretty good dip down the center as well. Like um, I think last month I said, I like pushed all the way down to see if I could reach the bottom. Like I didn't push all the way down obviously since I didn't reach the bottom, but I pushed down pretty aggressively in the center. And after that I was trying to use more of the sides so I didn't feel like I was cheating and I didn't hit pan until yesterday. So I definitely didn't like cheat this that badly. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the use there around the sides and that little pan in the center. Um, pretty excited about that. Um, I use this every day. Whoa, could not find my powder shadows um, are here. They don't really look a whole lot different. Um, they don't have a whole lot of progress, 0.06 grams. I'm using these every day though. We'll just see what happens. This guy I've only used once or twice and has no difference. Um, black track I haven't used at all. Um, and I have not rehydrated it yet either. I did rehydrate um this paint pot so i'm gonna start using it more um but haven't done black track i guess so i used 0.2 grams of this <clears throat> it's i think it's time for this to go yeah so we're gonna call this one another one done my uh color pop shameless shadow I don't remember using um, I didn't weigh it because I really don't remember using it I might have but oh, I didn't. another empty is my Mac prep and prime um, let's see nothing coming out um, I have another couple of these little guys they're cute I think that is everything that I've been working on. Okay, and then I have another MAC lip gloss that I added in last month that's in my car. Um, I've been using it, but I don't, I don't, I didn't go get it. Um, and I don't think it has that much progress, so I'll just keep rolling that one along. And then this Hikari eyeliner, I didn't use at all because obviously I was using this MAC liner a ton. Um, so I'll keep this one going. But I'm pretty proud of my little project pan going so far. I've used up these ones in the last month, the MAC Prep and Prime, the brow pencil, the lip liner, my eyeliner, a lip gloss, and a mascara. So these are all done. Um, and then decluttering this powder because it's broken. Um, so, my specific items that are continuing that I really want to actually pan. I'm going to stop doing updates, I think, on some of my powder products that I don't feel the need to pan. Um, they're just ones that I like using that I'm not worried about panning. For instance, the NARS bronzer, the highlighter. Um, I just like using those, but I don't feel the need to actually hit pan on them. They were just things I wanted to use. I'm going to keep this blush in for now. Um, my two shadows, um, Cory and Orb. My paint pot in Bare Study and my fluid line in black track. So I want to start using this one a lot now that I finish my other liner. And I'm going to be starting to work on painterly, which I don't have very much left in. I've mixed it up a little just to make it a little bit more blendable. And then I want to use up this little sample from MAC. It's a foundation, and I don't know what foundation, so I'd like to use that. 
I want to try out this Benefit Their Real Liner. Um, keep using this guy. <clears throat> and that's it. These are all just things that I'm trying out. So things that are continuing. My Fred Ferrugia blush, my two MAC shadows, my two MAC paint pots, and the fluid line, the Hikari liner, the MAC duo in Noble Touch, a MAC sample of foundation, and the Benefit Their Real push-up liner. So those are all staying in my project pan. And I'm going to add in this MAC eyeshadow in Honesty. Um, I'm going to also do the random number generator with my spreadsheet right now. So I got 37. Um, so I have a Maybelline item. So I suppose I can continue working on my concealer even though I didn't think I would. And then I got item from your favorite brand. So this shadow that I said I was going to add in, I will count for that. Um, so those are the items that I'm trying to pan right now. Um, and those are the ones I'll update you guys on next month. Um, this will kind of be like a break for me just because I did finish a bunch of things this last month and I want to kind of look at my collection and see what are things that I think I need to pan um, because I don't I don't need to pan my NARS Laguna bronzer that I just bought you know it's I mean I've had it for a few months but it's not coming up on the two-year mark for needing to replace it Um, as far as my goals to do a no buy, um, I did buy these two items, the Quick Trick Sticks in May, um, and I really like them. So I'm not really upset about it. Um, let me think. I know I placed an order where I got a new mascara and like a lip gloss bar thing but that's it for everything else and those haven't even come yet because i placed them near the end of the month so pretty good for no buy obviously i bought things so more of a low buy but i'm really enjoying these so i don't feel terrible about it thanks for watching